I'm Kaylee and I'm here with my little nieces and we are gonna talk about some Christmas books. These are books that we recently got and we really, really love them. Every book in this video are books that I received for free from a publisher in exchange for a free and honest review. So we're gonna get some seriously honest reviews from our little girls today. Okay, how old I'm are you? I'm four. She's four. And I'm six. All right. What book do you have? Okay, I'm Let's show the front though. We gotta show the front. The Snow Princess Cookbook. Ooh, very fancy. Do you want to try some recipes from this cookbook? Maybe we will, because they look super good. They do look super good. Wait, wait, wait. I got a recipe of, of here. I've seen this book before. Wait, you have? Uh-huh. Ooh, look at this. Look at, it looks so yummy. Look at this. Ooh. It's little fruit pops. Look at this. Ooh, cookies. Look at this. Whoa, I already saw that in that one. Let's look at this. Whoa, it looks so yummy. All right, we have Lit for Little Hands, the Christmas Carol. This one is really cool because it has a lot of moving parts. So that is super special. Wait, can I see that? Yeah, you can see it. <laughs> they just want to read every book right now. <laughs> I, I love reading books. Okay, today. which one do you have? I have Christmas Street. Ooh, Christmas Street. This is one of those ones that folds out to be really long. I like I like this one because there's like there's like a there's a flap that you have to flap. There's a flap that you did it folds comes out. out. Yeah. Because it's a fold out lift of the flap ABC book. This has been one of our favorites. We've been reading this since last year. Then we have Santarella. This is where Cinderella, instead of going to the ball, instead of having a fairy godmother, she has Santa. So she ends up helping Santa to deliver his presents. And she never even meets the prince at the ball. This one's really funny. I can't wait to read this one with you guys. You guys are going to love this one. Whoa, look at all this. I wonder what this book is. Boy, How what? does Santa grow down the chimney? <laughs> I wonder how that got there. How, how does Santa go down the chimney? <gasps> this one I saw and I really want to read it because... The cover just looks... And what's on the back? Show them the back of the cover. Ah, <laughs> they're drinking coffee. I actually already read this one and it is hilarious. It is so funny. You guys are gonna love this one. You're gonna laugh and laugh and laugh. <laughs> I'm already <laughs> laughing. Then we have Why Evergreens Keep Their Leaves. This is a really beautiful old fashioned fairy tale. I just love the artwork in this one. It's so pretty. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? I'll see what this is. Where's the snowman? Where's the angel? Here it is. Where's the cardinal? Here it is. And where are you? Here you are. <laughs> Shows 
the animals when baby Jesus was born. Oh, the animals. Mm-hmm. So, um, this one is probably really special. I think that one is really special. It's I probably like the specialist one. I think so, because it's about Jesus. Yeah. Okay, show us the last part. And the last one. And it's then it's you! <laughs> right? You have to look in the mirror to see yourself. <laughs> That's a good one. In your own little house. In your own little house. I wish there was another book, but... Okay, now this one. No, no, this one. Okay, that one next. This one is really fun. This is kind of in the tradition of we're going on a bear hunt, but it's we're going on a present hunt. Do you guys remember this song that we learned? We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna find a big one. That one. But now it's we're going on a present hunt. We're gonna find a good one. What a beautiful night. We're not scared. <laughs> Isn't that good? Uh -huh. <laughs> We're going to have to read this one because they're going to find the perfect present. This one is Rocky and her famous tree. So this is about a little owl who has a Christmas adventure. <laughs> this one's a fun one. Okay, which one do you have? Come over to the middle and I show me which one you five have. Five little penguins. <gasps> Uh -huh. So you can see it better if you're close. This one you can sing along. Hang on. It says, Five little penguins went out one day Over the hills and far away. Right? You can sing along, but then you have to find the penguins. So you have to lift the flap to see where are the penguins. And you have to find them all. Is this a penguin? Well, let's see. Ah, oh, no, nope, that's a little mouse. <laughs> so there's little animals all around, but you have to find the penguins. Okay, put the ornaments back on the tree. We see the ornaments, they're very cute. Put them back on the tree, please. <laughs> um, this is the Christmas doll. They have a Christmas doll, but it's it has a broken nose and it has a torn dress and they have to take it to the repair shop so that they can fix it. But the question is, can they really fix it or is it too broken? This one's a sweet one. I like this one, it's so pretty. And look at the back, you can see the repair shop people. Did you know these are real people though? They have a TV show where they actually repair broken things. So this is, this is a story that's based on real people. I think that's kind of cool. We're gonna have we're gonna have to watch it. Yeah, we can even watch the TV show maybe. Okay, then we have Santa Claus and the Three Bears. So Santa is so tired on Christmas Eve, he stops at the Three Bears house for a little rest. But then he falls asleep and he can't deliver the rest of the presents. So Little Bear calls for the fairy tale rescue rangers to come and save Christmas and to deliver the rest of the presents. This one's really cool because it has a map of all of their adventures. That's the end paper. It shows the map of all the adventures that they had trying to deliver the presents. This book is like um, Goldilocks in the Three Bears, but yeah. it's Santa Claus in the Three Bears. <laughs> That's right. Our next one is One Stormy Christmas. Little Hedgehog and his friends have lived through a very big storm. They have to save the beavers who have been stuck in their lodge from all the snow. This one's really cute. And you know what? I love the cute little designs for all the little characters. Like, look how adorable they are. They're so cute and sweet. I love them. <laughs> I know the little mouse and the little rabbits. This one is We Disagree About That Tree. And the bear and the mouse, they want to decorate the tree in different ways and they do not agree. What do you think about that? Should they try to agree? Yeah. Yeah, they should try to be friends. Right? Mm hmm Let's see. He brings in the tree and he says, let's decorate it. But the, uh, he, the ornaments are too big. And then, oh no, too many lights. And then, oh, too much tinsel. And then he tries to put it upside down. Ah, crash. Oh no, they are really in trouble with this tree. Oh boy. <laughs> he 
He wants to do a pink, but he he wants to do blue. I know. They keep disagreeing what they want to do. Can we read this though? We're gonna read it in a few minutes, okay? We're gonna finish our video and then we're gonna read all oh, of these. This is Jasher can't wait. Wait for Christmas. Um this one is Santa's reindeer and um that's all about this book. Are you asleep? <laughs> Oh boy. No, she's asleep. She's gone. She's gone. Okay, ready? Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> Come on, you have to do the next book. What book should be next? What book should be next? The, the geese? No, it's the penguins. Okay, penguins. Okay, penguins. Do the penguins. The penguin huddle. Penguins, penguins, penguins. Which one is the baby penguin? Let's show it up here. Let's show them the baby penguin. Which one is it? Oh, he's so little. So this is about some penguins that they huddle together to be warm in the snow, but then they get frozen together and they can never get unfrozen. <gasps> what do they do? <laughs> this one is very silly and very funny. And it's just the most hilarious thing in the whole world. Look, there they are, all frozen together. <laughs> the baby says, yeah, the baby says, wah, 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 wah. Okay, now the angels. The Christmas angels. Um, This book has, like, the back of the angels. Has cutouts of the angels. Even like that. Yeah, and when you turn the page, you can see their face. Let's hold it up a little bit more so people can really see the pretty illustrations. This is, this is like a recreation of a book from the 1930s. So it has these lovely old fashioned illustrations and everything. This is really pretty. And the angels go around doing good deeds on Christmas Eve. Beautiful. And then at the back of the book, there's like a cutout. So you can see all of the angels at the back. Isn't that sweet? That's the cutest thing. Okay, next is Xander Stays. This is about a goose who, when all his friends go south for the winter, he decides to stay in the snow. And he asks the other animals, how can I survive in the snow? And they tell him to do lots of silly stuff. Hey, I can't <laughs> put this on your I think that sticker has lost all of its sticky. There's no more stickiness on it. No, it's in it. It sticks. It sticks? Okay, set that one over there. It won't stick. It won't stick. It lost all its sticky. Okay. The next one is Little Tomty's Christmas Wish. This is about a little goblin or a Tomty. I'm not sure I'm saying that right. Tomte something. It's from Finland, so I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. But he wishes to have people with him to celebrate Christmas because he's all alone. This one's really adorable. Do you not want to do it with us anymore? Mm -mm. Okay, close the door. Bye. Oh, well, we're going to move on. Okay. All right, then we have the little Tomty's, um, the Tomty's Christmas Porridge. So this is where the humans are supposed to leave out a special Christmas porridge for the little goblin folk. But they're worried that they're going to forget the Christmas porridge this year. And so they have adventures trying to get their Christmas porridge. <laughs> this one is so adorable. It's very cute. It kind of reminds me of the borrowers, you know, because they're little people that live in the walls. It's so cute. Fix and Stitch is about a little squirrel who is getting ready for the winter but he keeps getting distracted by people who ask for his help. So there's a skunk that needs some clothing. There is a mother rabbit who keeps losing all of her little rabbits or all her little bunnies. And so the squirrel stops to help them and he doesn't have time to construct his winter home. This one is really sweet. I thought, I thought this one was really, really lovely. To the Ice. This is a great chapter book. Actually, you might really like this one because it does have illustrations, but it also has a lot of text for, you know, independent readers. And this is about children who get stuck on an ice floe 
and they end up stranded on a glacier somewhere and they have to learn how to survive but it's really poignant and sweet and they have a lot of fun adventures there's only one more left this is the last one the story of the snow children this one was first published in 1905 and it has all the original illustrations from the author. I just love old fashioned fairy tales like this. This one is a really pretty one. Okay, that's all the books we have. Thank you for watching. I'll leave a link in the description to all of these books. So there is all your Christmas shopping done. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Leave us a comment and let us know what is your favorite Christmas book. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and remember the right book in the right hands at the right time can change the world. Bye and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.